Greetings and welcome to another video log. So, uh, well I haven't anything to report particularly. Today I've just been, uh, well I'm making 26 pieces of art simultaneously and enjoying the countryside idyll of where I'm staying. But a couple of little anecdotes. Well, the uh, first anecdote, which thinking about it, is actually the last anecdote because I only have one anecdote. But it was one time I was walking through London near Portobello Road, Ladbroke Grove or somewhere around there, and then I'd been to a meeting, a business meeting, it was the middle of the afternoon. And as I was walking on the street, this man said, uh, do you want to have a meeting with Charlie? Um, I think I should uh, point out that I've never had drugs, I've never been interested in drugs, because I think I have them naturally in my mind, and I certainly wouldn't want them at half past two in the afternoon on a business day. Anyway, so, uh, just in case anyone doesn't know, he was obviously referring to drugs. It was a code. He said, I want to meet John. Charlie's popping by. I want to see him and all this sort of stuff. And I kept saying, oh, not interested, thank you very much. And he like, kept following me along, this drug dealer, man. And said, so, uh, all these codes. And I said, I'm not interested, thanks. In the end, I got really a bit annoyed. It had been going on for about three minutes. So in the end, I just said, look, excuse me, I'm not interested. Still carried on. So I said, excuse me, but I don't want any cocaine. And then he was really sort of like annoyed as if he said, you're not supposed to say it. There's code. You're not supposed to say a word because it's like he's obviously doing an illegal thing, trying to sell drugs. But I just wanted to say, well, it doesn't apply to me. I wasn't, I didn't invite him into my world. I didn't say I want to get involved in drugs. He is the one who's illegally selling drugs. I'm the one who is legally carrying out my business of being an entertainer whilst paying tax. You know, if anything, I could have gone further and reported him to the police. But it was just, uh, uh, you know, you've broken the rule. I, the rules don't apply to me. In fact, actually, a couple of other things occurred to me now we're on that subject. One, is another one about rules, is that my mother's mother was Jewish, racially Jewish, not actually religiously, I don't know how that happened. Um, she lived in Germany and she was Jewish by race, but she was Catholic. Uh, not that uh, Hitler seemed to take much notice of that. He was very much against members of her family and rather, well, he was a bit racist, wasn't he, Hitler? So he kind of killed them. Anyway, the point is um, that I was speaking to someone and she said, oh, well, because you're... And this has happened loads of times, actually. They say, oh, it goes down to the mother's side. Because your mother's mother was Jewish, you're Jewish. You're now a Jew. And I, well, not really, because you could equally say it doesn't matter with it. I mean, the point is that belief system doesn't apply to me because I don't believe in the belief system. So... It doesn't matter whether it went down through my mother's mother's side or my father's mother's side or mother's father's side. I am a quarter German Jewish by race. It doesn't matter about the belief system, about which way it goes, it doesn't apply to me. And another thing that occurred to me uh, that doesn't apply, um, which is when I was saying that other story, but I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, so I might be thinking of it for another video log. But just one thought before we close the video log, and that is that you don't get blancmanges much anymore, do you? No one seems to make blancmanges, not proper blancmanges. Like, you might get, like, an instant whip sort of pretend thing out of a packet. Uh, but uh, you can't even buy it in a shop, can you, blancmanges? You can buy jelly, ready-made jelly. You can't buy blancmanges, I don't think. You don't get it in posh restaurants anymore because restaurants are all much too posh for blancmange now. It's all uh, the shavings of um, beetroot crisp on a fennel sorbet. So the point is, in a hundred years' time, will anyone be making blancmange? Are those skills dying out? Is there anyone watching who does make blancmange? And could we bring mm. black? Bring back blancmange, we could bring black blancmange. Bring black blancmange would be a good thing to say if we were decided to hold an unusual party. We could say, come to the party, 
anyone's invited but bring black blancmange. That would be quite a challenge to make a black blancmange. Don't know whether that would be possible actually. If you think it is possible, please write in. And later, when I think of what the other thing was I was going to say, I will put it onto a video log. Thank you.